<clears throat> that is a tough job, believe me. And, and I want to thank you also for that <laughs> really flattering introduction. Uh, I wrote it myself. No, I just, <laughs> anyway, uh, well, you know, I, comedian, speaker, a lot of times you don't really get a great introduction. You know, I was in uh, England uh, a couple years ago and uh, doing a speech, the uh, chairman said, we've had Mr. Grant, who is quite a good speaker. If that's true, we might as well be getting on with it. <laughs> and if it's not true, we might as well be getting it over with. <laughs> anyway, see, uh, I just got back from a big international speaking tour, two nights in Vancouver. And, uh, <laughs> I always kind of enjoy going to Vancouver. Uh, you know, I've, I've spent a lot of time in Canada. In fact, I was stationed in Canada during the Vietnam War. <laughs> Army surplus store. But, you know, it's a nice drive up there. I, I have a good time. I'm driving up and uh, beautiful country. The only problem is you get to customs. And now things slow completely to a crawl. Or no, there's not a crawl. You just sit there an inch along. It took about an hour to get to customs, which is making me worry, you know, and I sort of amuse myself. I look at license plates. Uh, the guy in front of me has a uh, uh, car from Idaho, Idaho license plate. Anyone know what the plate says, Idaho? Famous potatoes. Yeah, exactly. Famous potatoes. Boy, makes you really want to spend some time in Idaho. You know, go there. It must attract a lot of people. But my favorite license plate is the New Hampshire plate. Does anyone know what that says? Very good, sir. Live free or die. It's a pretty hardcore attitude for a state to take, don't you think? And what about the poor guys who have to make those plates? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's, it's terrible. But uh, anyway, I finally get through. It took me about an hour and ten minutes to get to customs, and I'm ready for this real confrontation. But then what happens, they just ask you a couple questions. Do you, you have any alcohol or tobacco? No. You carrying any firearms? No. You carrying any drugs? No. I mean, all you got to do is say no. Of course, I can't help wondering, is this really an effective technique for catching smugglers? I mean, which smugglers do they catch using this method? Guess they get the really dumb ones. You carrying any drugs? Yes. Oh, you got me. I don't know how you did it. Can I go to jail now? I can't take any more of this questioning. Whew. Anyway, I had a lot of fun, drove up, drove back, a little worried about the old automobile uh, coming back. Um, well, you know, I'm driving along, I'm getting close to Everett, one of the lights on the dashboard comes on, says oil. All right, I get out, go around, yep, need some oil, put a quart of oil in, you know, Carl Grant, master mechanic, right? No problem. Get back in the car. You know, and, and, and I really don't like doing things like that because I always tend to think of myself as a pilot rather than a ground crew, you know? Anybody with me on this? Die by yourself, pal. We're not good. Okay. Uh, anyway, so I get back in the car. We take off and driving along, driving along, and suddenly another dashboard light comes on and says, check engine. Oh, good. So stop the car, get out, walk around, open the hood. Yep, there's the engine. Close the hood. Right? It's there, no problem. But uh, so get back in the car, you know, we take off, and pretty soon I see little wisps of smoke, and then I don't know, maybe it was just evaporation. No, not evaporation, because now the car is starting to rumble and groan, and finally it stops. And I look down at the dashboard, another light says, game over. <laughs> Cars just caused nothing but trouble for me. I, I was uh, in uh, 
actually uh, parked down in Aurora. When I get back to it, my car, somebody hit the car. There's a note pinned to the windshield, and it reads, Sorry about smashing into your car. The people who witnessed the accident believe that I'm writing down my name and address. <laughs> they are mistaken. <laughs> Good luck. Anyway, yeah, you, you do travel a lot. I was in San Francisco a while back. Flew down there on one of these little smaller uh, airplanes. I think it was made by Nintendo. Uh, you know, <laughs> Blue Jet or something like that. Get on and, and how many people here fly uh, regularly on airplanes?